And this afternoon, we're talking with Dr. Varel Oza from Prisma Health. He's live with us this afternoon. And uh, Dr. Oza, it's always difficult. Uh, we lose someone that many of us watched in our houses uh, through the years. But on the other side of this, Alex Trebek's death could maybe prevent others uh, because of pancreatic cancer. I don't think it's really talked about as much and it likely will be now talked about more. What are you guys hoping that comes out of this uh, sad situation? Yeah, you know, Alex Trebek passing away was definitely a sad situation for everyone. I grew up watching him. You know, one thing that Alex Trebek did during the course of his treatment and even when he was diagnosed was he talked about it. And I think just by simply talking about it, talking about the symptoms, talking about the symptoms he experienced before and during the treatment was in many ways uh, a breaking a lot of taboos and, uh, and encouraging people to talk about their underlying uh, health conditions. And I think that one single act of him talking about it really raised awareness of the symptoms of uh, pancreatic cancer. And doctor, how does pancreatic cancer actually affect the body? So pancreas is an organ that sits in the middle of the body and is involved in uh, releasing enzymes and secreting digestive juices that help in the digestion process. Cancer of the pancreas is cancer of, of this particular organ. Now, when you have pancreatic cancer, patients can experience a number of different uh, uh, con you know, health conditions. One of them could be diabetes, for example. A new, uh, new diagnosis of diabetes is a red flag after, after the age of uh, 50 to 60. Uh, patients can also lose a lot of weight, which uh, can also be uh, a big red flag. Now, oftentimes, depending on where the cancer is, patients can also turn yellow, and that is also a, risk, uh, a warning sign for uh, pancreatic cancer. And talking about those warning signs, I know you mentioned a couple of them, but I'm sure people, you know, watching this, they're learning about uh, pancreatic cancer, might be alarmed. What are some of the uh, key warning signs? Are there key symptoms people need to be looking out for? And you talked about an age. Is there a certain age that this really starts to uh, be worrisome? Yeah, so that's a great question. You know, pancreatic cancer can have that can have a lot of symptoms and signs, but they're generally very vague. Oftentimes, patients don't even have any signs and symptoms of, uh, of pancreatic cancer. Like they don't even know that they have it. Uh, most of the times there are vague symptoms like dull, achy pain in the belly, or they can turn yellow like I mentioned, uh, or they're losing a lot of weight. Uh, or it could be simple fatigue, just feeling tired and being nauseous, particularly after eating a, a meal that is rich in fatty foods. Uh, so those can all be signs of uh, something going on with the pancreas. Now. These are not specific to the pancreas, though, and that's what makes it tricky to diagnose pancreatic cancer. Having said that, I think if you feel like you have any symptoms that are concerning uh, to you or a strong family history of pancreatic cancer, then these are things that you should discuss with your primary care doctor or your gastroenterologist mm -hmm. because that is very important that a, a professional medical person look at, through your, uh, your chart, go th discuss this in person with you, and, and decide if there's any testing that's necessary or required. Because picking up can pancreatic cancer early is the key to, uh, to treatment. And is there anything that the average person should know about pancreatic cancer? What would you tell them? You know, one thing I, I tell everyone, all my patients this as well, is that pancreatic cancer has uh, a taboo associated with it in that a lot of times it's associated with uh, uh, not a great prognosis. Having said that, if you have early warning signs and symptoms, getting di get diagnosed early and treated early is the key. And having a diagnosis of pancreatic cancer uh, means that we, there are treatment options that we you know, oncologists, cancer specialists, gastroenterologists, surgical options. There, there are definitely some treatment options out there that uh, that medical world has to offer and uh, don't lose hope. Yeah, it's important not to lose hope. Dr. Oza, thank you Absolutely. for that helpful information this afternoon.